Hello, Princess Casserole here, and I am here with my lovely Christmas tree. This is actually my favorite um, group of ornaments. They are from Christmas Around the World, and they're little Native American angels, and my dad had given them to me a couple of years before he passed away. So these are, even though we have his ornaments, these are something that always go on the tree for me. And uh, we have an angel up there, so they're kind of surrounded by angels at the top of the tree anyway. So these are, are very special to me. Just thought I would share with you guys uh, something that was kind of personal and something that I love. So I wanted to show my Christmas brooch and there's there's some earrings and different things here um, with all of you and I'm gonna start by showing Christmas trees so this one is marked Jerry's on the back um, it's hard to see the Jerry's marks are always really difficult to, to read for some reason but it's just the Christmas tree with the lines and the little dots for the ornaments. So that one's an older piece. Um, I think this one I might have actually, I might have gotten this out of a jewelry jar. And this one's kind of an older piece as well. But I really like this one because it's kind of a modernistic feel to it because it's not just a straight Christmas tree. So I like I like those ones that are a little different. Um, this one, I think I've seen a lot of these. So I, I don't think it's anything that's, you know, super fancy or anything. So just because it savors, I, I did see a lot of these. But I also had this one. I didn't realize that when I bought it, of course. Uh, this one is marked Monet, and out of the Christmas tree brooches, this is probably my favorite. Um, I just love the design and the colors, and it is marked on the back there. So it's marked Monet there. And I just, I love this one. This one is not marked, and it's not missing any any stones, and this is what the back looks like. And this one is also not marked, but I, I really like this one. This one was one of my my favorites as well. I like that the light goes through it um, and the sparkles on it, but there's, you know, a gel so that the sparkles aren't coming off, which is always a nice touch. And that's the back of it. This one is also not marked. This is also an older one. And there's the back to it. This one is marked Avon, and it is quite a lovely Avon brooch. So it is marked right, right here on the back. So this one is a bell, and it is marked Art on it. These ones, they are not marked. You know, I'm not wearing any, I might as well put them on. So these are just little bells. And they're clips. And then this one I wore, I think last year. And I got a lot of compliments on this one. So it is, it's an older, 
older ornament brooch and it's got the pin I think this next one is marked MI this one is not as weighty and it is marked right over here MI This one is marked Corel on the back, right there, and it is little birdies on a stick with some ornaments to it. This one right here, I thought this one looked very nice. Um, it's actually, it's not marked. I was kind of surprised by that. It looked like something that would be marked to me. It's a little reindeer. Um, none of the rhinestones are missing except for his eye, but we can fix that. And then we just have a bow with a little bell. This, uh, it's Mark Jerry's again, and it is a bell with enamel on it. The Jerry's marking on this one is back here. I like collecting things that are a little creepy. And this one is marked, I can't. I can't remember the the marking name, but I thought he was a very odd looking snowman with his his there's something odd about his face, so I just I had to get that guy and I hope my brother in law is not watching because this is a gift for them for Christmas for him. And it is a little dachshund with some holly. And I just thought that was so precious. They have a dachshund and they had a dachshund before. And one of them looks like like him. This is the back. It's unsigned. But I just thought this one was so precious. Then there is a little pin. Snowman. And speaking of snowmen, there is another snowman. And another dog. So, this is cute little face. This little hat. That's the back. And this one is not signed. So you know how I said I collect creepy things. I thought these two Santas were quite creepy. I'll show you the less creepy one first. So this one is marked Monet. And he's got rhinestone eyes. And there's just something about rhinestone eyes that can make things look pretty creepy. You know? I'm trying to... The rhinestones are making it hard. He wants to look inside of your soul. Just kidding. Maybe not. Um, oh yeah, yeah, he is staring at my soul right now. This is my favorite cre creepy Santa. So he has a weird little mustache, and his beard goes out at the ends. He's unmarked, so he's one of one of my favorite Santas. He is weighty, has some heft. This next one is also marked Jerry's. 
kind of love their vintage Christmas brooches. So it's marked down here. And this one is unmarked. It's another candle. This is the back. So these ones that are all all white in the back. So then we have another little lantern. And he's unmarked. So I think there is one little rhinestone missing on top of this, so I have to replace that. And we also have candle earrings. And then I also got this brooch that lights up, which is very very nice at night. And we have a candy cane. And candy cane is unmarked. This is back. It is a, a mid-century brooch. And this one is marked I think it's Roni or Rome, Roma, maybe Roma, and it's got the, the sugar on it, and then we have a stocking, Christmas stocking, and I loved this one, this was Holly, and this one is marked BJ, but you know I was thinking BJ was Betsy Johnson, but obviously for these older ones it wouldn't be, so I'm going to have to dig a little bit more and do some more research again. So I love the enamel um, flowers, the big metal enamel flowers, and I believe I got this next one in a jewelry bag but I I do really like this one so it's pretty well made the enamel is really thick it's beautiful and then I have a pair of poinsettia earrings Poinsettias, that's the word I was looking for. So this was a poinsettia brooch. Again, this one is marked BJ. And I am not sure what BJ stands for. And then I know people said they don't like button covers. But I got Christmas button covers. This one says Joy and Little Soldier and a Snowman and a Wreath and Bells. Oh, and a Rocking Horse. So those are all of my Christmas brooches and Christmas earrings. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and seeing my lovely tree with my husband's wonderful ornaments on them. Uh, I hope you do subscribe down below. I just surpassed 200 subscribers, which is lovely. I very much enjoy hearing from all of you and um, this has been a wonderful journey that I've taken upon doing this whole YouTube experience. So thank you for watching and spending time with me. The bell. Oh no. I hope I didn't, didn't mess it up.
Nope. Good. <laughs> and so thank you for watching. No, that was too much. Um, year. Continue doing videos. <laughs>